Hey everyone, it's Tracy Martirana here from Holistic Wellness with Tracy. Thank you for joining me today. I am working on a date night meal of Mediterranean stuffed mushrooms. I have some portobello mushroom caps that I am just cleaning up using a paper towel and a little bit of water to just wipe off some of the dirt. And then I'm simply going to scrape out the gills. You don't really have to do this. I like to do it just because I feel like it just kind of opens them up, makes a little more space for the stuffing. But it's really personal preference. Once the mushrooms are cleaned, I'm just going to prepare them to bake. Uh, you could grill them if you wanted, but it's winter here and I don't feel like trying to get my grill pan out or go outside to use the grill. So I'm just going to bake them. And then while they're baking, I will prepare all of the fixings to stuff them with. I put a little bit of oil on my sheet pan just so that they don't stick and then I'm adding just a little oil. I'm just using my hands. You could use a basting brush if you want and technically you could probably skip the oil altogether if you wanted. The mushrooms release enough moisture on their own. But while the mushrooms are cooking, I'm going to start preparing my spinach. So in a large saute pan, I have some olive oil heating and I have what is a pretty large clove of garlic. You could use less, you could use more, you know, you know what you like. This actually, this clove is actually so big, I have to cut it in half just to make it fit in my garlic press, but you know, it's still, it's gonna be yummy. So I'm crushing the garlic, I'm just gonna let it cook just a little bit. I have my heat on low because I don't want the garlic to burn but I don't want it to be raw either so I'm just allowing it to begin to soften and then I'm gonna just fill up my pan with this baby spinach. Remember that spinach cooks down a lot <laughs> so what looks like a ton of spinach is going to end up being just a small amount in the end. I add just a little bit of water just so it can steam a little bit and then I'm going to put the top on and let it sit here on low heat just sort of wilting away. While the spinach wilts I have these lovely um, roasted red peppers that my husband made for me. We do have a video where he showed us how he makes them. I will put a link to that video down below. I should note that in that video he roasts them out on the grill, but these peppers he just did right here on the stove, just blackened them over the fire with the um, exhaust hood running and then followed you know, the same method. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to my spinach, stir that around, and then I'm turning the heat off and just letting it continue to wilt in the residual heat from the pan. And like you can see, it used to be a lot of spinach and now it seems like it's just a little bit. The mushrooms have been cooking for probably about 10, almost 15 minutes now. So I'm just flipping them over. Just wanna make sure that they're cooked through. And while they finish off, I'm going to slice up or really just sort of cut in half um, a handful of these Kalamata olives. You'll also notice in the background, I have some crumbled feta cheese and I also have hummus. Usually when I make this type of meal, I would make my own hummus with just a can of chickpeas, maybe add in some garlic and lemon zest or lemon juice. But I had this container left over. Someone bought it during the holidays, left it behind. So I don't want to let it go to waste. So I'm going to use that. Now my mushrooms are looking 
pretty well done. So I'm flipping them over and then I'm just going to layer on the goodies. I'm going to start with a nice big scoop of hummus on each one. And then I'll come back with a butter knife and my finger and just sort of spread it out a little bit. And then once the hummus is all set, I will divide the spinach across all of my mushrooms. Now I'm not giving you exact measurements of what I used here because really you just sort of have to eyeball it for the number of mushrooms that you're making. And then you can always, you know, use a little bit more or less. If I had a little bit less spinach on these, they would still have been delicious. And now I'm taking my roasted red peppers, simply dividing those amongst everything. And then I'll add my Kalamata olives and then top with a little sprinkle of feta cheese on each one. These are so simple to make yet so delicious, perfect for a date night. They're delicious and they feel sort of fancy, but yet really start to finish it takes about half hour to make these it's nothing crazy you can easily get it done on a weeknight once everything is stacked on i'm just popping it back in the oven just long enough to let it heat through so maybe another five ten minutes and then voila it's done and ready to serve these are delicious. You can have them as an entree. You could serve them along with a protein or a salad. However you choose to serve them, they are delicious.